Welcome to the Tech for O channel. This is a smartwatch that produces energy from the heat of your body. Sounds like tech from the future? Well, we have it now and it looks like a new beginning. This is the Matrix Power Watch. This slogan, powered by you, it kind of sounds like a charity campaign. Not at all, we should take it literally and seriously. This smartwatch is being powered by the heat generated from the human body. And it is the most exciting piece of tech I've seen so far this year. And it feels like the Californian-based company called Matrix has no intention to settle. There is a new model, the X, and it is already being shipped to the first backers. And yes, backers, because this is another Indiegogo-funded project that is now a reality. I'm quite sure there are tons of questions, like how does it charge? What is that weird technology? Is it really working? Is it really that beautiful? So let's begin. I can confirm that everything about this watch is legit and is indeed a technological breakthrough. First of all, this is not just another smartwatch. If you think of Android Wear or functionality you would find with Garmin swatches, no, this tech is different. Right now it is somewhere between a fitness tracker with extras and a real smartwatch in the sense of Apple iWatch, Samsung's gear and so on. The essence is the way it produces and consumes power. There is a tiny thermoelectric generator that senses body heat and converts it into energy. TEG, in short, needs to have a hot side and a cold side to operate. The hot side is the circular black aluminum plate on the back of the watch. The cold side is the entire metal bezel and body of the watch. And you will notice the very specific design which in some ways reminds of a heat sink. Because it is. The hot and cold sides are separated from each other by a layer of insulating thermoplastic and when the hot and the cold side collide via the TEG harvest, electricity is being produced. Quite obviously, the colder it is outside, the better the charging process will be. Maybe a bad jog, but you finally have a good reason to be happy when you have fever. Higher body temperature leads to increase of the charging efficiency. Build quality is outstanding. Metal bezel, beautiful design and clean and good looking watch face. There is already a newer black edition with slightly different strap. I think I like this one better. Material feels good to the skin and it feels like natural fabric. The most accurate and valuable metric this watch will give us are the calories burnt. Its mechanism to count that is significantly better than any other smartwatch on the market. And let's put it like that. It's like when you're dependent on money. If you are, you count every single penny. And it's the same with the power watch and the calories and body heat. The counter is extremely accurate. Concerning hardware, it is not disclosed on the manufacturer's website, but knowing that it uses Ambic Apollo microcontroller, my guess is that it utilizes the version Apollo 2 Blue because it supports Bluetooth. PowerWatch can sync wirelessly via Bluetooth with the Matrix iOS and Android apps. This functionality is only possible with that power resource because Ambic Micro's Apollo MCU consumes less than half of the energy of similar MCUs. And if you're thinking that the microcontroller used is effective, let us be more accurate. It is among the absolute best on the market and is built on 32-bit ARM Cortex-M4 architecture. And at the end, inside the power watch there is an actual battery. Capacity is not disclosed and perhaps it is really small. I talk that much about the hardware because it is important to set the expectations on the right level. The functions that you can count on Besides the date, time and other well-known wristwatch functions are a few. There is daily activity summary, there is running mode, a sleep counter, a stopwatch and there's a way to adjust the settings, which by the way are not adjustable via the app, but that also makes the watch app independent, except for the initial setup. 
The display is perfectly visible under direct sunlight. It is monochrome reflective display. This is what we have. What we don't have, no GPS, no actual smart OS, being it Android Wear or something else, no selectable sport modes, no apps, no notifications. There seems to be an option to show notifications on the newer X model though, which I haven't tested yet. And one remark, although I'm sure there is a technical reason to make it like that, the backlight is just ridiculous. In terms of smartness, it is somewhat at the level of current fitness trackers. As for the design, I'm in love with the design. It's a watch you can wear everywhere and not to be concerned about charging. Once you take it off and if the battery capacity gets lower, it goes into hibernation mode. At the end, credits. A huge thanks to my dear friend Tony for sharing his power watch. He was the one who really inspired me about the idea of trying this tech and I believe it is mind-blowing and I sincerely hope this is the beginning of a new era in the world of smartwatches. I had the pleasure to wear this one for a week and during the days I from time to time missed my notifications, which the X model can handle by the way, and the GPS, which I need for measuring the speed when doing electric scooter reviews. Other than that, it was impressive and I'm truly gonna miss it. I think it is well worth the $200, especially knowing that many fitness trackers with similar functions cost about half of that and you always have to think about charging and finding that damn cable. There are two things I'm very much looking forward to. Firstly, the PowerWatch team is promising a big update that will add more features and watch faces. That would be brilliant. And secondly, your opinion. Can you sacrifice GPS and some not too useful modes in return for infinite battery life? I can certainly do that. And your take on the topic you can post in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and check out some of the other reviews that we have. That's been it. Today's report given and I'll see you soon.